Uh, hello, uh, I'm back again with uh, looking at these weather maps. And uh, this will be uh, reading and writing on weather maps part two. But uh, it's, first, we're just going to talk a little bit about the, the weather symbols that we hear. And we could use either map. Uh, they should be the same. It looks like, uh, actually, this one might go a little bit looks like it goes a little bit higher no it's about the same okay so let's look at this one that's in color and um, look at some of the symbols um, first of all the big H that's the highs and the lows uh, L's the lows are the L's this H um, usually let's see I don't see okay there's an X that's the present position of this low and the other thing to notice that there's isobars marked along here, like this is the 888 isobar, and they go in steps of four. So this is uh, 892. This one is uh, 10,000. So this low is located right at this X here, and the pressure, the central pressure, oh, this must, excuse me, that must be 988, excuse me, 888, that's a hurricane, deeper, that, that, terrible hurricane. Okay, this is 985, this is 988. So that's the, this isobar all around this area is 988 millibars, and this central low pressure right here is the one with the underline in it, 985. And in each case, here's a low, here's 992, that's the position right here. If we go to a high, it's the same convention, there's an H, 1029. Uh, 1029 is the value of this high right here. So this isobar going around here, you'd have to look around, there's 1024. So it goes up about 5 millibars in here. Now, the next thing to note is uh, the motion of this low. This low is moving this direction. And the next X is where it's going to be 24 hours later. So this guy's going from here to here, 24 hours here. Here to here, 24 hours. Look at this guy. He's zooming all the way up here to there. There, I guess, actually. Clear up there. Now this high, both of these highs are moving to here. Now the, notice that the this is the same meaning, is the same as this X, but the circle around it means it's where the high is going to be. So it's just so you, if there's a bunch of these things next to each other, you don't get mixed up. So this is the location of this high and this high, which is clearly they're emerging. They're emerging. And uh, I would have to guess that this is a 1029 here, 1028 here. And when it merges, it would merge to 1038. The, tomorrow. We'd have to look at the 24-hour forecast to, uh, to confirm that. And uh, that's abbreviation for stationary. There's no arrows coming out of here. This guy's not moving. And these are a front. Uh, that's a warm front. Uh, that's a, uh, this is a cold front. And here's occluded. Uh, we're not going into that too much now. But, the, and these, these are notice, uh, these dashes here, that means that they've actually seen a row of clouds along here, and that's why these are a little bit kinks in the isobar. This is a trough. So there's a trough, and you don't see it much on these isobars, but it must mean that they saw some clouds along that area, trough. And now we go to the, the weather symbols here, and all these, these are actual station reports. They no longer, it's probably a security issue of some kind. They used to have the ID of the ship, but they don't do that anymore. But this is an actual ship report uh, that was valid at this uh, time of this map. Um, now, and this is a so-called station model report. This, and let's just look at the aspects that we care about for uh, what we're doing here. A weather, a marine weather. And marine weather, we care about the wind, period, the wind. Uh, it's all about the wind. So we just deal with things that directly relate to the wind. And there's the wind. And then presumably this ship reported this wind um, from, the, uh, from the southwest. And the first s tendency is to call that 20 knots. Each feather is 10 knots. That's 20 knots. 30 knots. 
Then you come down here. That would be fifth, so-called 15 knots, 10 knots, something like that. When it's five knots, they move the they move the little tick mark in a, in a way. So these are presumably five. But none of that's actually tr exactly right. This 20 means that this wind as reported was somewhere in the range of 17.5 to 22.5. That's a huge difference from a sailor's point of view. So you have to keep in mind that that's not just 20. That's a very important point. It's not 20. It's 17.5 to 22.5. When you look at the same map in a grib file, grib file of the or what we usually look at for the GFS uh, global forecast system predictions. Um, a lot of sailors and mariners rely on that, maybe too much, but those will actually will give you the real wind speeds in knots. But on this kind of map, you gotta gotta be sure to interpret this. This is not 30 knots. This is 27.5 up to um, 30, um, 32.5. It's rounded that way. So that that was a ship report uh, like that. Now this uh, the rest of this symbol means this symbol means the pressure the, the pressure he reported was 1022.5. And then um, I'm going to let's see where can I do I want to show you the reference book that I will refer to uh, this oh wait a minute not here how do I get it um, oh I can't get it up here let's see hmm. uh, view single window hmm. Well, let me come back to that. I want to get the reference book to show you the book. But anyway, I'm not going to go. I'm going to just tell you what these mean, and uh, the, you can look up the details in the reference book. This pressure means 1022.5. This symbol here is the uh, tendency. And if you look uh, that closely, you'll see here that's my, and now this has, for example, here you have to know this means 1022.5. We're adding 1,000 to this. With these tendencies, we have to divide by 10. So this means minus 1.5. So that means his, his pressure, one, uh, no, excuse me, three hours ago, three hours ago was 1.5 millibars uh, higher. So his pressure has dropped 1.5 millibars. And uh, this symbol here, this symbol here tells you how it dropped. And we have that, let me just see, okay. So if you go, um, let's see, command back, back, forward, yeah. This is, you can download this manual to our barometer. Our barometer actually calculates all, all of these things as well, but you can go to download our barometer manual. And that manual has got this page in it that explains these characteristics codes. So what were we looking at? That down and across. Down, oh, we know two things. We know, first of all, the pressure now is lower than it was. It's lower, pressure now lower than it was. So this symbol is a code six. So his pressure, that of ship, actually saw that pressure decreasing and then steady or decreasing then decreasing more slowly so it's definitely not going up the trend is not up there it's decreasing and either slowing down it, it somehow the rate of drop has slowed down at this place now then if we uh, if we look uh, look a little more at this you see what's he got 1022.5 so this, this isobar is 1020, and this is going up and is 1024. So he's bang on the, uh, this is a 1020, 1024. So it's 1022 halfway between there. So that's, uh, he's uh, right on with the maps, which is not a surprise, not at all a surprise, because these maps are made from model computations of what the pressure is so, supposed to be based on the atmosphere as a whole. But at the same time, they know these ship reports. So that's why they can bend these things out a little bit, bend them out like that before they give them to us to read, because they know they've got to match these ship reports. And these ship reports have various quality controls that the Weather Service does to double check that they're all right. Part of the quality control is seeing that their tendency and that this shape and so forth is consistent with others. So that's a couple notes on um, 
these reports. These are actual ship reports. So sometimes if you're making tactical decisions, uh, seeing a few ship reports is a nice, uh, a lot more confirmation than dealing with a zone where there's no reports. There's no reports. It's all model sort of predictions. So then uh, next, uh, in the next step, that's all I think I'll say about these maps for right now and then uh, for symbol wise and then later come back and let's talk about plotting our position or if this ship report were not here like once you go to a forecast map 24 hours 48 6, 96 whatever once you go to forecast maps they only show winds greater than 30 knots greater than 30 so all the normal winds we have to sail in normally day in and day out there's no winds there we have to figure that out so that's what we want to do in the in the next step. So I'm gonna uh, gonna stop here for now. Oh, that's the end of part two.